So the next step is to do the couple of examples from the start of this trig chapter, and they are incredibly simple. You can see it just says use your calculator to write down the values of. It's not going to take much effort at all. Um, the problem we have is it's asking us for sec of 280 and cot of 115. Um, and the thing you need to notice is they are not on your calculator. The scientific calculators and the graphical calculators, they don't have sec, cosec and cot on them as buttons, as functions in and of themselves. Um, th the reason for that is economical. The more functions you need, the more buttons you need and the more complicated the calculator gets. Um, so they, they deliberately don't put them on the scientific or graphical calculators because they're unnecessary uh, and they would just make them more complex to use because you'd have to find a place to put the functions in. Uh, so what we do is we just remind ourselves that sec of 280 is the same as 1 over cos of 280. That's the definition of it. So instead of trying to type in sec of 280, I just type in 1 over cos of 280. And I press equals and I get an answer of 5.76. Um, and then instead of doing cot of 115, I'm going to write 1 over tan of 115. So 1 over tan of 115. And I'm going to get negative 0 0.466. Uh, the only little thing I would remind you is make sure your calculator is in the right mode, degrees or radians. Both of these questions are in degrees, so I've made sure my calculator is in degrees before I started the work. Uh, example 2 says then work out the exact values of. Um, so that tells us, it suggests to us straight away that these are these neat values, um, either 30, 45 or 60 degrees, uh, which if you remember is... Uh, pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3 radians. Um, so those are our key values that we're kind of hoping for. Um, sec of 210, uh, sec of 210 is 1 over cos of 210. And if we remember that um, 210 is down here, on our cast diagram, uh, which means it is the negative of cos 30, right? So remember that cos is this value. So cos of 210 is negative of cos 30. Um, so that means sec of 210 is the same as the negative of 1 over cos 30. Okay, uh, so this is negative 1 over cos 30. And then we just need to remind ourselves what cos 30 is. Um, so cos 30 is, hopefully you recall, uh, root 3 over 2. So sec of 210 must be negative 1 over root 3 over 2. So this is the negative reciprocal of this. So this is negative 2 over root 3. But we're going to have to rationalize the denominator. We definitely don't want it in that form. So we're going to times the top and bottom by root 3. So we're going to have negative 2 root 3 over 3. Now, I've done all of that by hand without the use of a calculator. Clearly, the other way I could do this is just to type in 1 over cos of 210 and lo and behold it's negative 2 root 3 over 3. It's quite useful to have all of these exact values in your head and be able to use the cast diagram effectively uh, or the trig graphs if you prefer them uh, but the reality is you have calculated for all the papers there's no way I would be wanting you to waste time with all this work you need to understand it and where it comes from but you certainly don't need to be doing this on an exam you just use the calculator. Okay, so if I just clear all of that off, um, cosec of 3 pi over 4. Um, so first of all, cosec of 3 pi over 4 is equal to 1 over sine of 3 pi over 4. Um, 
three quarters of pi so on our cast diagram that's right here that's 3 pi over 4 um, the sine value is the height um, so that's the same as sine of pi over 4 so this is equal to 1 over sine of pi over 4 sine of pi over 4 that's equivalent to sine of 45 and that's root 2 over 2 so this is 1 over root 2 over 2, which is 2 over root 2, because it's the reciprocal. And finally, again, we would rationalize this. So this is going to give us um, 2 root 2 over 2. Oh, they cancel. It's just root 2. And again, far, far quicker would be to just tap that in the calculator. 1 over sine of 3 pi over 4 and then oh it's the wrong answer because my calculator is in degrees not radians so don't forget to change your mode to the correct one press equals again and it's root 2 it's really important that your calculator is in the right mode otherwise you're going to get absolute rubbish as your answer whenever these trig functions are involved but these are easy they just tap it in your calculator um, but you need to tap in 1 over sine or cos or tan because cosec, sec and tan, cot don't exist on your calculator.